I'm Susan Brooks, Councilwoman, Rancho Palos Verdes. My daughter made this lovely apron on her Cricut machine. So if you forget who I am, there's the name. And we are welcoming spring. It's been a really cold, cold, record cold winter. And as part of our welcome for spring, we're going to be making a French um, Provencal vegetable tian. And it would be a vegetable casserole. So you can bring your vegetarian friends. This is very healthy, a lot of fun, and zesty, depending on whatever you really want to put in it. We're going to be layering vegetables. We're going to be using some leeks. These are cut up. And I'm going to make a little mixture with them, olive oil and balsamic. We're going to be using eggplant, all our favorite vegetables. We're going to be using Yukon potatoes. And we have some lovely tomatoes. These are off the vine tomatoes. But you know, uh, also some wonderful tomatoes, the best really come from cans these days because they're flash frozen and flash canned. Have also some black olives. You can also use Kalamata olives. We're gonna be using some garlic. And we have a nice little mixture here of Italian um, herbs de Provence, pretty much, mostly thyme. And we have some wonderful Gruyere cheese. It is French cheese. You can also use mozzarella, but we're gonna be finishing it off with this delicious sh shredded Gruyere cheese. So we're gonna start, and the first thing we're gonna do is gonna get these wonderful leeks moistened up. So I'm gonna start, you have to use good olive oil. These are just gonna be sauteed. This is what it looks like as these go on. As this is cooking up, I like to caramelize it with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So as this continues to cook up, I'm just softening this, I'm gonna put the garlic in here now. So we're gonna really have a nice, intense smell. This is freshly cut garlic. This is gonna cook up for probably about five minutes. It's gonna be the bottom layer. I'm gonna pour this these leeks in, and garlic into this, which you're gonna make a nice, very thin, nice layer. Now, I'm gonna set this aside, and it's chopping time. And what we're gonna do, I've got this wonderful little machete kind of thing. This is an eggplant, so I'm using eggplant. for, And you wanna to try to get everything about the same size. So I'm trying to get them at about a quarter inch. And then we're also going to have potatoes, Yukon potatoes. We're going to have tomatoes and olives. And uh, we're going to layer this. I'm going to start with the potatoes. So I'm going to put pieces of potato down at the bottom. I'm going to brush on some of this bruschetta now. So now we're going to go to the eggplant. Eggplant next after the potatoes. After we do this, we're going to brush on some more of this combination olive oil. This is the regular olive oil with the basil olive oil. I'm gonna put a little bit of this pink Himalayan salt on it now. And a little bit of pepper. The next is gonna to be tomato. So I'm gonna use these canned tomatoes in between, which I've sliced in half. So we have potato, eggplant, tomato, and now we have zucchini. We're going to put some more of this bruschetta on. I'm gonna put some olives on. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this eggplant on. I'm gonna go back to these wonderful herbs. Now I'm gonna to top this off with some fresh tomatoes. We're gonna to put some sprigs of thyme on that. I'm putting it into a 400 degree convection oven and I'm going to put it in for about 25 or 30 minutes. I have to cover it with aluminum foil. I'm going to time this and we'll be back. So we just took our wonderful vegetable tian out of the oven and right now I'm going to tamp down the vegetables. And while we put this in the oven, we had extra leftover, so made a baby dish. What I'm gonna do is take off the sprigs of thyme. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the combination oil. And then finally, we have the Gruyere. I'm gonna put the Gruyere cheese on top. So this is going to just crisp up, brown up, just enough for about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. 
with the top off. No, no foil top. And I'm going to keep this at 375 and I'm going to cook it for 14 minutes. And we'll see what happens. So, okay, fresh out of the oven, we have our vegetable tea on. And what we've done here is we're going to take our piece of this lovely piece that we have with all those yummy vegetables and savory herbs. Put a piece of chicken on here and a fork. And now it's ready for my company. Bon appetit.